Hello everyone, Acid Burn here, coming 101. Um, today we're going to do some old school stuff. And today, um, I actually went to the store because it was closed on Easter. And there you, uh, was it Apple? What is it? Apple C Collectibles. Never been there until today. Really, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Awesome guy. He's really chill and relaxed and fair price. He's a collector and uh, he's a very fair guy. You know, he makes his everything fair for his collection or collector, I should say. And uh, I found a lot of old school Ninja Turtle toys, a lot of new ones. Ugh, I'm tired. So, anyway, so I went there and uh, I got some stuff. I'm not going to show you all of them one by one. I'm going to do what, like, do a review of each and every one of them made because then it'd be complicated for you guys to find my stuff just in case you're curious about these things. So today we're going to do head dropping Don Tello. Now the thing is I have him already open when he first came out. Okay guys? Now as you can see this is the original box. Nothing nothing fancy, nothing you know, weird because the artwork was it's kind of half fast drawing, I guess you could say. I don't know. I don't know who made the artwork, but it was like something just went boom, done. Like, okay. <laughs> but yet, I love it still. I mean, it brought back so many memories when I first got this toy. And here, here's a little trip for you guys. It has the original um, pr um, price when it first came out. And this one is actually from Walgreens. And you're not going to believe it. I'll show you up and close too. It actually costs you $4. Look at that. 4 bucks for this toy. And now they're costing like what? 13 to 15 bucks. Now I know the card is a little bit damaged, a little bit in the corner piece. Not too much. It's not too bad or anything. And yes, I know there's a whole punch on there, but still not bad. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool. And it comes with like a like a bonus glow card. Remember, you remember those jokes that has in there like like quizzes and it has like really cheesy jokes, but you still love them. It's on here. So, um. There's also, because this one came out, I think, 90, 91, and they brought it back, and I think it was 1996 for the 10th anniversary, and yes, they did fix this weird-looking eye on the next card, but this card, I never noticed until now. I mean, I was a little kid, you know, you don't pay attention too much, but I never noticed how huge... This card is. I mean, this for a turtle toy, for some like for this little thing right here, this is a big, big card, and I never noticed it until now. Second thing is, um, it show, there's something on the back on the thing. I don't know if you guys have these or not, but bear with me if you do. I hope you guys could take this out and check it yourself if you haven't noticed. But if you did, awesome. But I noticed something on the back of this card that no one ever pointed out or said on. Facebook or anywhere else, but I noticed it in when I was like what a little kid, and I will show you that little weird issue looking thing. That I don't, I never understood why they did it, but he did. All right, so we're gonna get straight to it. All the clothes, they have a better view on it. Second, check out other um, underneath my video, all of them underneath my video will all have. Places to go to turtle hunt or anything, not just turtles, but anything else for a good place for it. I don't put things on there if they're criminals or, you know, crooks. If they're really cool people and they are also collectors and they understand our, our passion, then I support them. And I got one for Colorado, and of course, this one I just showed you. And, of course, no matter what, five corners, you guys are going to be number one in my heart no matter what. So if you're in California, not in Colorado, but if you're in California, check out Fire Course and of course my buddy Jared Tomatum. Uh, subscribe to, his, to him if you like his work. And underneath that, anything that has to do with head dropping turtles, including the new ones and the old school that is open, I will put all those reviews underneath this one so you can go ahead and check them out as well. So let's go ahead and check this out before my camera dies. 
thought I'd just charge this thing up. Alright, here it is, up and closed, guys. So, of course, it shows you how it's supposed to look like when it comes up. Nicely, nicely. So, like I said, there's that weird-looking eyeball in his life, on the side of his face. Um, yes, 1996. That's from what I've ever seen, up and close. That they actually fixed the eyeball, so it looks just, you know, equal with this eyeball. I never understood why they did this. I mean... I always ask myself that since I was a little kid, like, why does his eye look like that? But, of course, if you look for the toy for yourself and he had no accessories and you're looking for his belt, remember his belt does not have those straps to go on the side because it kind of, you know, need that neck loose so they could push down. And it squeezes his legs, pops up. Yes, there's a new version of these guys that are head dropping turtles. They're pretty cool. But not as liable as these ones because when you squeeze the legs, the leg stays. And if you squeeze the legs for the new version, it's way too plastic and the legs does come off. If you haven't seen my video, I will show you. And my toy hunting video because I went to Walmart and somebody stole Dontel's legs and that's it, I guess. I don't know why they did that. So here's his uh, little uh, accessories over here. And then it has a little bump underneath it, so like a bounce on the top of his head. And his little bat with, you know, barbed wires, which looks pretty cool. On the bottom, and it says bonus. I don't know if you can see that in the background. There's a picture of Don Shell, or one of the turtles right there. And this is jokes number 33. Try to find it, there it is. Jokes number 33, there's still more than one. And then the artwork, like I said, it's kind of, looks like they half fast it. But yet, I like it because it brings back a lot of memories. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a price right there, the original price. And on the back. And here's the thing. Here's the thing I was telling you guys. Look at it. Got head dropping Raph with a head in, head dropping Dontello, which that doesn't make any sense because look at it. His he actually has his teeth showing, and his eyes are actually on right, and it's not that 1988 Dontello because Raphael's face is like that. Weird, isn't it? And Leonardo's head is inside, but here it is. Here's the one that really tripped me out when I first saw this. Supposed to be head dropping my glanjo. But look at it. It's not. Because, well, if, if it is, and I don't know, because that looks like a regular 1988 Michelangelo on the back. Of course, this one really trips me out. So there's a smiling, head dropping Dantel out there. I don't know if anyone has that. i never seen one in my life. But of course, we have 1988 Michelangelo posing as head dropping Mikey. Or Michelangelo. Then you got the shredder, Roxy, the wind up stuff. Then you got Splinter and Bebop. And of course, the talking turtles. My personal favorite. And then, hey dudes, <laughs> take a turtle, a new trick. So here's what the name of the sewer pipes is and all the names for them. And what they mean. And the portrait. It actually tells you about his head dropping issues. <laughs> and of course, let me show you this. Where is it? Package printed in Hong Kong, 1991. Of course, and now look at that. Isn't that crazy? All the pizza points are all one point. This one is actually a point two. So you got two points pizza right there. How cool is that? Well, no, I love you like so. Proof of purchase. Yeah, so there's a point. I know there's a f uh, four and a five points out. I don't remember which toy that is, but here's your two pizza point right there. And instructions how to do it. Push the head down into the shell. Ba -ba -ba, and he squeezes like, voila, you know. So, 
That's what I look suppose you have to do. Ah, just love these old school stuff. And then one more thing I need to show you real quick. Alright, so we do the back part. And then we put this one on her. This is uh, totally a different toy, which we will review that soon, but see at one point. But anyways, I'm going to put this on a corner piece. And as you can see, the size compared to this one. I mean, like I said, the head drop in Don Tello or all of the series are freaking huge. So, I don't know why they made the box so big. I mean, it is a small size toy. And like I said, I never noticed the size. So, there you go. You'll see this car later on in the future. So, that's it, guys, right there for you. Um, hopefully, this review helps you out. What to expect. Maybe it'll bring back some memories for you old fans like me. Uh, I know I, I know it brought a lot of memories with just staring at this toy and the card with it. Share this with your friends. Seriously, say, hey, do you remember having this when you were a toy? Do you remember it being this big? I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone who, who has the other Donatello with the fixed eyeball and thinking, whoa, wait a minute, I don't remember him having that weird looking eye or... Mine didn't come with a number 33 um, joke book. I mean, yeah, the card, the 10th card anniversary one is definitely different compared to this one. But this is the original print of all Ninja Turtles out there. Supposedly there's another one out there with this yellow thing that says new. There's another one out there. Supposedly, I didn't, I never saw it in my life. But I, people have been saying it in the past time that there's another card with this off. So it doesn't say new. So later, no, no, that's what they're saying. But I never saw it, so I have no proof. I will If you guys go ahead and check that out, look around, see if you can find one that actually doesn't have it on it, because I don't want to give you guys, you know, the runarounds and realizing they're not one out there that even exists. But just in case, you know, you never know. But yeah, all the new, all the ones that says the new are the original ones. All right, so if you spot anything different on a card besides the price. I know there's gonna be somebody's gonna be smart with me, but if you notice anything, anything at all that is different than mine, besides the 1996 one, please put your comments down, tag me, um, take a picture of it on Facebook. I want to see what you got is different. Do you when you have the one that says new that doesn't even have it on there, or maybe you don't have jokes? I mean something, anything like that. And I want to hear your guys' opinion on the whole Michelangelo and Donatello thing out there. And um, yeah. That's all I could think about to think about to say. Blah, 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 blah. I can talk. All right. So share this. Um, if you like this review, push like. Uh, it does help my video out. If you're new, please subscribe. I mean, I love doing old school and new school stuff. Not just turtles, Ghostbusters, Madballs, and my pet monster stuff. Anything that has to do with monsters, that's what I grew up with. So um, that's it. That's all I could think right now. Or anything to say. And if anybody pushed dislike, obviously you didn't have a really good childhood memory. Or a childhood just because just not your favorite toy. I like these toys. I love head dropping turtles. I really do. So, um, that's it. And no, we're not going to ooze it because that will ruin the card. But, um, yeah. I'm still tripping out how I never know or notice how big this card really is. I mean, this thing is freaking huge. I don't remember going to try to fit the toy picture on the side. I don't know why they did that, but they did it. And, of course, there's a head-dropping Dontel name right there, which you barely even can see it. But if you rip it out, I guarantee that it rips out, too. So I don't know if they didn't meant to do it that way or they didn't even, know, they even think about it. that could have happened, so you won't know the name. I don't know. So, of course, there's a stock number right there. So that's it. That is it for my review for this one. So that's it. That's all I could show you about, you know, Don Teller right here. I mean, I know, I, like I said, a lot of people are like, well, just open it up. But if you're a collector, you don't do that, especially the old school ones. I can understand maybe get two, one to keep inside, and the other one open so you can play with, whatever. But I will put his review underneath this one right here. And if I didn't do one, and it, or it has that copyrights crap on it because that guy hit by copyrights in 2010, 
Then I had to redo it, and I do apologize. It's really annoying because I got hit by it because I have music in the background. Oh, no. So, anyway, so that is it for right now. And, yep, yeah, um, this card is huge. I, I can't get over it. I never noticed that. I mean, this thing is huge. But, like I said, I didn't notice the Michelangelo thing. That is just weird they would do that. I mean, it doesn't even have the lines around it. Actually, Don Todd doesn't even either. He doesn't have a... Well... Yeah, you can see the lines around his, his collarbone. But with Michelangelo, I mean, I can't really tell. I mean, it looks pretty good like that. I mean, of course, Playmates changes everything. But anyways, that's it. That's all I could think of. Maybe I... Like, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know what it is besides the whole ooze and eBay villains. But, um... Yeah. Guarantee you, you'll see this toy one more time once I find the fixed eyeball or the 1996 with him in the card. You'll see this guy again. So, awesome. Alright, that's pretty much it. So, uh, collectors out there, um, get your hands on this toy. Seriously, get your hands on this toy. Um, well, I'm just getting flashbacks just by staring at this. It's really cool to see your old stuff when you grow up with and see it again, it's, you still get that feeling in the heart, like, wow, you know, I remember that when I was a kid, that's good memories, seriously, they don't make them, like, it's, it's serious, I can say this, they don't make them like they used to, I mean, I still like the new stuff, but the plastic for this and all that, still pretty cool, alright, well, that's, um, that's it, that's all I could think of, alright guys, till then, take care of yourself, and happy hunting. See you later.